Oh, Qualcomm and Lenovo are combining the best in Qualcomm processing capability, 5G connectivity, and all of Lenovo's history and expertise in making multiple two-in-one, three-in-one market-leading devices. And Gianfranco, I want to start with you. What do you think are the most exciting applications that consumers can look forward to and businesses can look forward to when they think about 5G connectivity? When you compare today a smartphone and a PC, Smartphone is always on, always connected. The PC, not it. With the 5G, people they can they can be always on, always connected. Also with the PC, so it, it means that uh, the the user experience will be exactly the same as a smartphone. The other important thing I think is uh, the bandwidth uh, and the speed. We will have enough bandwidth uh, even to do 4K, 8K. It will be uh, another in, in important application in my is mobile gaming. It's becoming very popular. So people, they will uh, be able to play in, in any place because the, the connection uh, will, be, will be good. And the other important things, uh, in my opinion, is are all the application in the, all the, between AI, edge, and cloud uh, computing. Because again, you need the speed and you need a certain level of connectivity to make sure that everything works. Cristiano, uh, obviously uh, Qualcomm has been a long time leader in processing capability. Uh, you're now, adventing a new roadmap with AI-focused, AI-dedicated processing capability in your latest iteration of hardware. Uh, how is that going to help uh, the Lenovo Flex 5G platform really be successful? One thing that happens in the 5G era is as 5G develops, AI will develop at the same time. And as Qualcomm starts to enter and gain scale you know, in the PC segment, we started to bring some of the AI capabilities to the devices as well. I'll give a very uh, simple example. I think we're all doing this that we're doing right now. We're having remote video calls. And one of the features that coming to Windows on Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, PCs, like the Lenovo 5G Flex, is you have the ability to use AI to always make sure you're looking at the person as you're talking in a video call. And you're not, you know, you consume too much power to do this on the C on the CPU. But as you, you bring some of the capabilities to the device, you can do it in a very efficient way using AI computational engines. It's just the beginning of enormous transformation. What is the enterprise thinking about as the early best use cases for things like the Flex 5G? The most important thing when I look at the enterprise is security and how you can build up your own network because uh, you can build up a network much more secure than the current because you can control most of the elements in, in, in with the Wi-Fi you are not able to control all the elements so security for sure another important uh, thing is AR and VR you need a good bandwidth you need a good uh, connectivity uh, you need a very low latency to make sure that the user experience is good uh, and it, it, it is working uh, properly and the last thing is uh, when you think about the smart city, smart uh, manufacturing, telehealth, uh, same story. You need the connectivity between edge uh, and cloud. All, all these things, uh, and they, they will become uh, much more easy and much more uh, efficient, I would say, with the 5G implementation. Cristiano, from Qualcomm's perspective, when you look at the, the go-to-market strategy for the Lenovo today and what that partnership could evolve into, what's, what's Qualcomm excited about with the partnership? What I like about this partnership is there's a two companies that have very similar DNAs, focusing on technology innovation, creating new experiences, and uh, companies that make bets together like this transition of PCs into connected 5G PCs. And I think we're very excited about this partnership, and uh, we've always been excited about this partnership, and 5G is going to make it even bigger.